This is Benjamin Toth. I'm here at the University of Delaware Interactive Percussion Seminar with uh, three Hart Percussion alumni, Joseph Van Hassel, Honoka Masayama, and Tsimpong Feng, and we're joined by our guest pianist, Mark Tolfson. We're performing a few pieces here and then also a couple schools in Maryland and down in North Carolina. It's kind of a five-stop tour. And uh, we're particularly excited to be here because we're looking forward to introducing all the attendees to some classic works for percussion, two of which are Minoru Miki's Marimba Spiritual and John Cage's Third Construction, which is before you here. And I thought I might say a few things about our instrument choices for each of those two pieces. Third Construction calls for a set of tin cans, and they say that uh, the tin cans aren't the same as they were back in the day. So we look for the most resonant cans we could find. And we do try to find a low to high significance so you can hear the counterpoint when there are more, multiple can players playing at the same time. We have multiple sets of claves as well. And those are also, we have sort of a pitch preference. So there's some melodies that are created. Um, it's nothing that's written specifically in the score, but these are things that make sense in terms of our interpretation. And I guess I should say that our interpretation is heavily influenced by my time in percussion group Cincinnati. Um, for example, I opened the piece with the tom-tom solo, and although my part is part two, I used the three largest Chinese drums because that's kind of a big moment in the piece, and then later there's a section where there's softer accompaniment from the other three players, and player two plays a drum solo, so the percussion group liked to have that played on the lowest drum, so I, even though I'm player two, I have the lowest drums, and they worked out the other sets based on melodic preferences. We'd prefer Chinese tom-toms, which is most likely what Cage would have used. He had several in his collection. If you search online, you can find a list that he created, he typed up, of his percussion gear and included several Chinese tom-toms. Aside from that, we've got a handful of noisemakers, which we've you know, carefully selected, a very small, we, we use a little Tykes tambourine. I don't know if Steve Weiss carries that, but uh, it's a great soft, high sound. We've got, um, I have some antique cowbells, it requires a couple lion's roars fiber slab, ratchet, maracas, etc. Several of the instrument options we're speaking about are available at Steve Weiss Music, as are basically all the mallets that we're using. It's a wide variety of mallets, yarn mallets, cord mallets, rubber mallets, rattan, etc. So I encourage you to check it out at Steve Weiss.